Hello everyone, welcome to the afternoon, welcome to Node API development series. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to set up the project and install Express on our projects as well. First of all, I want to recommend you to install Node.js on your computer. So if you don't have Node.js, make sure that you install Node.js on your computer. Go to nodejs.org and download long-term support edition and double click on the files when it's finished download and click next, next, next until it's done. When it's done, you can go to PowerShell to check if it's installed on your computer completely. Okay, you can type node-v. It will show the version that's installed on your computer. All right, this means you have successfully installed Node.js on your computer. Okay, the next step, let's create a new folder over here. I will name it node API and then just drag and drop this folder on Visual Studio Code to open it with Visual Studio Code. All right, the next step, what you have to do is to go to new terminal and then you can type npm init-y to create package.json. You will see package.json over here. All right, let's create new files server.js. This is node.js files because it's JavaScript files. So actually you can run these files with node command. For example, I put console log over here. I type hello. And then I can run these files by type node and then server.js. Okay, server.js is the files name which is over here. I can hit enter, it will show hello over here. You will see hello here. I want to run these files with package.json. So over here, I can put serve. And then I can follow with this command, node server.js. So if I want to run these files, I can type npm run serve. Serve is this command which is specified over here. I can hit enter. It will show hello over here. All right, the next step that we are going to do, we are going to install Express in our projects. Okay, what is Express? Express is Node.js framework, which will help you to create Node application easily. All right, you can go to npmjs.com and then search for Express. You will see the information and the detail about Express framework over here. Or you can go to website expressjs.com and then go to get start and then hello world. You will see the code that they recommend you over here. All right, you can learn from this documentation as well. Let's install Express on our computer. The command that you are going to use is this command, npm i express or npm install express. Paste it over here, install it. After you have installed it, you will see node underscore modules over here. So that means uh, Express framework has been installed in our projects. And when you go to package.json, you will see Express has been included in dependencies over here. So the next step, let's create our Express application or Node.js application. So you can use this code directly over here to create Express application or Node.js application. Okay, let's code it together. Okay, con, first you have to create Express variable and then you have to require the package from Express. So Express over here. Where is this one? This one has been included in here, you will see Express over here. Here. You don't have to know about all the code, but if you know how to use it, it is okay. Okay, the next step, let's create con and app variable. Then we call Express over here. So this structure of code, I get from this documentation, okay? All right, the next step, we just create an app. Okay, app, listen. So we listen to port 3000 
and we put callback function over here and then put console log and what do you want is to show on the command line you can put like node api app is running on port 3000 okay something like this so when you run this application you can type npm run serve see you will see this one node api is running on port 3000 but how can you access this website through your web browser you have to declare route okay let's declare route together you can declare multiple routes on your application for example over here app.get that means get route and then you can put url you can put root directory and then you can access to callback function in callback function you will get two parameter which is request and respond so request is the thing that client send to you respond is what you respond back to the client okay so you can access two parameter right here i'm going to access to rest because i'm going to send something to client okay put send and then what we are going to send hello node api something like this if you access to this one if you access to localhost port 3000 you cannot get anything because you have to stop this terminal press ctrl c and then press y and then run it again npm run serve and if you go back here and you refresh the page you will see hello notes api over here you can use application like postman or insonia to interact with our application as well postman here this application you can download it and install on your computer or you can use insomnia okay download this application go to price and then download now and just download it and install it on your computer i have installed it on my computer okay over here you can type http and then localhost port 3000 and hit enter See, you will see hello node api over here all right the next step i'm going to use git to keep tracking of our code so i recommend you to install git bash on your computer make sure that you install git bash on your computer you can get it from this url download is for window if you use window the installation is pretty simple you just install it and click next 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 until it's done and if you are a window user and if you have installed git already when you make a right click on your computer you will see git bash here over here uh, after you have installed git on your computer i recommend you to stop this terminal Control c then press y and then type git init over here to use git with our projects you will see the color over here has been changed to green and you will see u icon over here so okay right click and new files let's create git ignore over here because we don't want to save everything in git okay let's put git ignore okay and then we want to ignore this folder node module after we ignore it you will see the color over here has changed to gray in, instead of green the next step what we are going to do we are going to type git add to add every files in git and then we have to use git commit to save every files that has been chained or has been added to git add okay we change to we can name we can comment this one m dash m mean comment we can comment is like initial project okay all right we have commit these projects already okay this is all about this video if you like this video don't forget to click like subscribe and comment down below